how to create your own shades of purple lipstick. Hey guys, so this is my requested video on how I do my brows. I have a new technique and I'm gonna share it with you right now. So these are the products and tools I use. I actually use the NYX The Curve liner to do my brows because the nib is so thin and so pointed and it gives me a lot of control and it's pressure sensitive. Sorry, it was really hard to say that word for some reason. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna start by really thinly lining the bottom of my brows. I've actually removed the hair from the end of my brows so that I can create more eye space. So I've made my brows a bit higher. But anyway, as you can see, I draw the bottom line, then the top line and fill it in. I fill my brows in three quarters of the way and leave the front third bare. My brows were a bit crazy, so I had to brush them out first. Okay, so the top and bottom line are pretty much parallel to each other until I reach the arch and then it tapers towards each other into a point at the end. I then use this double-sided spoolie brush and I use the short rigid side to just smudge the liner together, get it looking more natural and not liquidy. Then I use the spoolie side to brush out. I then use that short rigid side to fill in the parts nearest to my bridge. I'm using short strokes in a direction of my hairs to emulate the hair shape because I want my brows to look really natural even though they're like not natural but I want them to look like hair. I then use a slanted brush and Dermacolor concealer in the shade D20 and I'm using that to highlight my brow bone. I then use this brush and it's basically broad on one side and then when you tilt it it's very flat so it's flat and broad. I tilt it on the flat side and use that to create a really thin line of concealer on the top of my brows. So I use the thin side and then I use the wide side to blend upwards in the patting motion. I then use my blending sponge from Real Techniques. I love it. And I'm just blending out all the concealer and everything else. Making sure it looks good. And then usually I go back with my spoolie to neaten it all up again. And that's the look. Hope you like this guys. Let me know if you would ever use a liquid liner for your brows. I know it's like so controversial, but hey, it works for me. Have a great day guys and don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe to my channel. Be bold and I'll see you in my next video.